Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures and I just happened to look on Craigslist and I would not have known or remembered about the sale because it's been a while and somebody posted church yard sale and then clean out and I said, hmm, I look where the area was, I know that church, I've always loved going to that community sale. Then I remembered they always said it was the second uh, Saturday in September. So I searched and searched and went to the church website, looked all around, and then there it was, the advertisement. Well, it's funny uh, because when I got there, it was all the usuals for all of the church sales and the estate sales. And I thought, really? It wasn't advertised on Craigslist or online. I wonder how they heard about it. It was more of maybe just remembering or driving through the neighborhood. Anyway, I'm very excited. So I went to the um, church rummage sale and then they sell like little spots outside. So individual yard sale people and then all the neighborhoods around do it. So I went to many. I. I think I only spent about $18 or so. I don't think I even had $40 in my wallet and I still have a $20 bill. So cheap, cheap day and I got some great stuff for art and crafting. So I know a longer introduction than usual, but we'll get into it now. And of course the weather was amazing. So I paid $5. This was the most that I spent on anything today. And um, you'll notice it's a lot of things that I plan on uh, making art with and actual art supplies. Uh, it just seemed like there were a lot of people who were, you know, artists or had estates of artists that were clearing some things out. And uh, the man wanted $5 for this. He says that they're real. Um, said he had a store and he would sell them. It says naturally Pacific Imports, Washington, D.C. So I'm definitely going to get into here and check them out. I don't think um, the frame is doing them justice being so close to the insects. I feel like a really nice thick mat, something like that, would be better for this. But I do love insects. I love to use them in my art. I think this would be perfect to display for Halloween, but also... Uh, in my son's room because we do have a collection of butterflies. So I thought a little bit about this and I said $5 is really good and I can imagine it presented differently. I believe the reason why I just didn't go for it is because I just don't think that does it justice. So we're going to open up that later. Check it out. Probably not on camera though. Also at that man's yard sale. I spent 50 cents for this linen. Looks like it's probably a Paris souvenir. Silky little handkerchief. I just thought that that was nice. So I'll put that in my collections and who knows what I'll use it for. And then I also picked this one up because silk um, fabric and handkerchief is my favorite to find. And this one has a little, I, I read it as Lily of the Valley. I think it is a little bit of Lily of the Valley embroidery. And this one is silk with the hand rolled and stitched edges, 50 cents for that. So $6 at his yard sale. And the other yard sale that I spent the most at, I got this tin. Now these tins can be expensive and collectible and uh, I could tell that this was the man who had advertised on Craigslist at, as an estate clean out. So I said how much for the tins? I asked you know prices on a few things just to gauge what he wanted since nothing was priced. He said tins a dollar which I thought was really good. I thought I'm probably gonna take it up there and he wants more but nope just a dollar. So this one is an orange black and white definitely picked this up for Halloween. Um, it's just a, a shoe wax polish, so I'll just keep it closed. But I just really liked the graphicness of the numbers on this one. And then I also picked this one up for Halloween because it's black and white. So I believe that I've got one other tin similar like this, you know, some type of everyday product round really nice like image I believe it's a moon so that could make a nice little grouping 
and the price is right. Um, I'm gonna clean them up though. So I also purchased this from him and I paid $2.50 each for these. I could have maybe tried to bargain, but it um, really worked out that I didn't pay much for um, the rest of the stuff that I got. So it was fine. And the more I thought about it, I thought, you know, these could be could be antiques and they are in nice shape and they're not chipped. And I can think of something to do with them. So I just got them. I also liked the fact that they were different designs. So this has a little picture that says Atlantic City. So just like a little um, souvenir. Now we've got some issues here where the paper's coming off, but then that's actually kind of cool because it's like the paper came off, but the emulsion and the image is still attached. Oh, look at that. So I'm thinking I might do something similar to the hand mirror where I could layer something else behind and make a nice little piece for Halloween. So you can definitely see that my mind is in Halloween mode now with this amazing weather. And that was the other thing that was so nice about today is such a nice day and enjoyable to be outside. So here's the second one and this one says that it is Coney Island. That picture looks a little bit in better shape, but definitely have plans on doing something with these. I actually like that that's vertical. Although, you know, obviously I can put my own pictures and do what I want behind it. What would be really cool is if they were thick enough that I could put one of those beetles behind it, but they're not. I have seen some that are very domed actually have one. It's a horseshoe that could definitely hold something thicker, but these won't be able to. So I spent $7 at his booth. Those were my first purchases of the day. And the um, handkerchiefs and bugs were my last purchase of the day. And then in between, it was like a quarter, a 50 cents, a dollar. So there was a woman who had, yes, three things that I purchased. And she told me that her husband was an artist. Um, and so that this was his. And it was a quarter and it says talons made in Holland and I believe it's to just hold water and mix watercolor in so like a palette but it also has that look of the older usually crazed um, pieces that would have like toothpaste powder stuff from England um, that would remind me like an image like this on the ceramic. So if you did transfers or something like that, you could totally put a transfer on this, but then still use it for water and for paint. And I, I collect, you know, vintage art supplies, use them and just collect them. Then I um, was just looking around clothes and stuff. I think she was set up with her daughter. And then I came back to that area and then I noticed this look at that great price so my dad has these exact same inks so I have them um, I believe I actually have them at school because I was using them I love to drip them on my collages and my paper when I'm working and I also believe that my dad was missing one as well if I had to guess it's probably black just because that's such um, a used color you always go through black and white the fastest and only a dollar on it I was just so happy because whenever I see the images on them I think of my dad's art supplies I think of the ones that I have and they're all full of ink so that is wonderful and if they ran out of ink I will still have them and put them on display then after I paid for that then I saw this so this says it is Jewelers Bronze Dead Soft Wire for Wrapping. I asked how much, she said a dollar because it doesn't look like much has been used and I love thin little wire like that. I can use it at school, I can use it here. There's so much of it. And it was funny because when the mother asked the daughter how much and then said, why are you selling it? So she must be um, do her own jewelry. She said she just wasn't crazy about it, but. I love this kind. <laughs> then I then I told the mom, I said, if you don't want to sell it, if you want it, it's fine. Like now's the time to say it. I, I can I can move along. She's like, no, no, I'll sell it. So I got that for a dollar. Probably take it to school. And then I went to um, a, okay, so I went to another yard sale. 
And then I was, I, I mean, I really feel like I was getting a lot of art supplies and stuff to create with. So there was this package of Sharpies. So it has six of the eight, and you know how expensive something like this could be, $15. I asked how much for the school supplies, and the lady said a quarter. And they have, like I even swatched the one. Uh, they're brand new, unused. I'm gonna take these to school. The kids will love these. I've got little bins at their desks that have colored pencils and watercolor and Sharpies and markers and paper and scissors and glue. So they've got basically this box full of stuff that they can create with. Even when we're taking notes, they can get in there and choose their colors. So I will add this because markers really aren't something I can afford to stock my classroom with because they get used up so fast that you know it's not like they have a lot of longevity to them so i was very happy to find that for a quarter so then i was talking to them and they said that their son was actually an art teacher who was getting his degree while he was beginning teaching in california in uh, san francisco so then they also had this and they said just a quarter and this is awesome i'm thinking that's initials and then it was made in 2012 I love this, but I'm gonna take it into school to show my students because of all the texture. This is exactly what we're about to start next week. It does appear like um, probably some type of plaster cast was made. And then after it was made, then they you know pinched out clay and pushed it down in there because of all that beautiful texture and detail that's raised, not indented. But I love, um, I love the strawberry motif. And I like the way that they added the color. I like the black that's uh, put on and then rubbed away for a quarter. I was very, very happy. I mean, this is something that I would make, so now I don't have to make it. <laughs> and then uh, the last thing I got, which I think many of you will be excited to see. This was the second little uh, stand at the church that I went to. And there was a big box. Oh, actually, I have two things left a big box and I could see this in it and I said oh my gosh that is a stack of vintage Christmas cards and it turned out to be a lot of sympathy and a few Valentines and mainly Christmas and I said how much for the cards thinking she might say a dollar a piece she said 10 for a quarter so I went through I took a lot but not all this came to a dollar 25. I am so excited. These are great to just put on display in flower frogs. You can do circle punches and make tags with them. And I know that I've been given a lot and I absolutely love them. And I don't know if I could collect every design of vintage Christmas card, I would, but I think that's impossible. So uh, the girl had said that this was her parents' things and she was uh, selling it for them. But just looking at her age, I believe these were her grandparents. And then her parents had them. She said her parents had lived in England. There was a cool map for sale. And everything was like a quarter, 50 cents, a dollar. You could just tell she wanted it gone. Um, so I also got one of those printer's trays. And I asked her how much, and she said a dollar. And as another lady near me heard, heard her say that, there must have been a, a smaller one down on the ground. So she picked it up immediately and handed the lady a dollar. So I got the bigger one. Another lady got the smaller one. But I would have bought both um, and just taken them into school and seen if the kids want to, like, sculpt with them or just keep it there. And that's probably what I'll do with the big one. So let me um, grab that printer's tray to share with you. I mean, these are just fabulous. And then this was the one thing I think that wasn't a card. Before I get it, I wanted to share with you this one. Sometimes these are my favorite, are the ones that are matte and kind of plain. I love the font and I'm always drawn to the uh, candy cane motif. This is an extremely large printer's tray, but not too heavy. It's got a sawtooth hanger on the back. Like I said, I'm gonna take it into school and see if the kids wanna do anything. Kind of reminiscent of a Joseph Cornell uh, box or Louise Nevelson if they were inspired by that artist. I also got some free fabric and architecture magazines that I'm gonna to take to school as well. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing my treasures and I'll see you in another video. Bye.